Jose Barrios was supposed to start Wednesday in Baltimore. Mother Nature had other ideas, so here he is tonight. And this is his 23rd start of the season, his 17th career start against the Cleveland Guardians. Jose Ramirez at the plate, ripped into right field. No, you can put 10 men out there, and they're not going to get that one. <laughs> they're going to need a five man next time. A two out single by Ramirez. Barrios has been tough on him, but that's a breaking ball. He likes to throw that curve ball a lot. And that'll bring up Mississauga's own Josh Naylor. Close at first. Barrios has two pickoffs already this season, and man, that looks like he's out. And the Blue Jays are going to have another look at it. He is out. How about that? Gavin tagged him right on the shoulder before the hand hit the base, and the Blue Jays are going to have an appeal. And the call is overturned, so Barrios picks off Ramirez. And that'll be that for the Guardians in the top of the first. Well, tonight, Cal Quantro's back in his backyard to pitch. He grew up not even an hour from here in Port Hope. The right hander facing Lourdes Gurriel. Reaching pitch hit well. Left field. It's deep. And what a catch by Stephen Kwan. Wow. Wow is right. It looked like it was over his head. Kwan <laughs> never gave up on it and made a tremendous grab. That ball was over his head. I didn't think he had a chance at it. One down now for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who brings that career high 20 game hitting streak into the game tonight. And there's a ground ball between third and short cut off by Jose Ramirez and on the run. He throws him out. Two down for Alejandro Kirk. And Cal Quantrill strikes him out to end the first. Two on, one out. Stephen Kwan to the plate. Kwan with a great bunt. Third baseline. That's going to stay fair. Stay fair. Stay fair. Look All out the true. way to the bag. How about that? And the bases are loaded with one out. How about that? This one just killed its line all the way to the bag and got on the dirt and see it. All right, Stephen Kwan is living right. Forget that line. That's living right in my world. Yeah. That's unbelievable. No kidding. How about that? Bases loaded. Edges, Benson, and now Kwan aboard. Rios with one out. The one, two. Right back up the middle and through. Hedges scores. Here comes Benson. Quan on his way to third makes it in safely and down to second on the throw of Ed Rosario. It's 2 0 Guardians. He hangs a breaking ball and leaves it middle of the plate. Rosario takes advantage of it. On the ground, gets it up the middle. You're going to have Hedges come in, Benson score, and you have Quan going to third. Base open at first for Jose Ramirez, infield back. No, 2 0 pitch, line to center field, racing in Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll make the He'll catch. Coming. Quan tags. He's coming home. It's offline. It's three. Nothing. Cleveland. Give Jose Ramirez his 89th run batted in on the year. Another way to get that extra one in. He tried to throw it all the way, but it was way offline. And with two down now, Josh Naylor the batter. And he sends a high fly ball to deep left field. Guriel back. He's out of room. It's out of here. <laughs> Welcome home, Josh Naylor. Oh, baby. The Mississauga masher is back. <laughs> and a two out, two run homer makes it a five run third inning for Cleveland. Well, you talk about staying on the baseball, and that had some carry to it. For Naylor, that makes it a five run inning, and you couldn't ask for anything any better. His 15th homer. And that puts runners at first and second. Med Rosario steps in. To left field. Oh, and made the catch. Guriel got caught all in between. Do I go for it? Do I play it on a bounce? And eventually he said, hey, it's going to make it out to me. And he made the catch. Yeah, he initially didn't think it was going to get to him because he was putting his glove up trying to decoy the base runner. So the inning stays alive with two on and now two gone for Jose Ramirez. There's a ball swatted to deep right field. Him. Hernandez is back. Goodbye into him. the Guardians bullpen. Oh man that is a monster home run a three run blast by Jose Ramirez home run number 22. He has driven in four runs tonight and it's eight nothing Cleveland. And I got to tell you he went down and hit that pitch that was down in the strike zone. Vladimir Guerrero came in with a 20 game hitting streak. 
in which he's batted 386. And Vladdy shoots one down the right field line. First hit of the night for the Blue Jays. He is on his way to second and in there with a double and a 21 game hitting streak. Boy, what a beautiful swing. Vladdy Guerrero just stayed on this thing and he's able to keep it fair down the right field line. I mean, there was no slice at all in this line drive. Now it's Teoscar Hernandez who bounced to third his first time up. The 3 2 in the air. Right field, Oscar Gonzalez. Busy inning. Makes the catch. 8 0 Cleveland. There's the strike to Jackie Bradley Jr. Struck out his first time up. Smoked it by him. Woo. Strikeout number five. And now two times through the order. Only one Blue Jay has reached base. Yeah, look at the movement on that 95 mile an hour fastball. He hit a rocket to left that Stephen Kwan made a sensational falling catch. Weak ground ball, Ahmed Rosario. He's got it tonight. He has retired 18 out of 19 batters. And it's 8 0 Cleveland. Here is Alejandro Kirk has struck out fly down. Swing and a miss. He waved at it. That's a half dozen K's for Cal Quantrill. Two outs, nobody on for Teoscar Hernandez. And the 2 2. Paint. Nice. Just nice. Seven strikeouts for Cal Quantrill. And an utterly overpowering performance here in Toronto. 8 0 Cleveland. Nick Sandlin on to work the ninth. Vladdy extended his hit streak now to 21 straight. Longest since Edwin Encarnacion's 2015 streak that spanned 26. Turn it. There's one. And book it. The Guardians stay red hot. They run their win streak to six in a row. They come to Toronto and beat the Blue Jays 8 0.